So I picked up these plate snacks donut stickers for my micro gains plates. They go on the back and they add a little fun. I don't think I'd ever put a plate snack sticker on my vintage plates, but then again, a wise man once said, never say never. That's Justin Bieber. So who knows? But for now, I'm easing into the plate snacks world by adding some donut stickers to my micro gains. So I was a little nervous about the application of these that, oh no, what if I get it off center, something like that. The nice thing that I'll point out though is that this is not your typical, like, you know, sticker that you see 8,000 of them printed from a Cricut do it at home type machine. At least I don't think so. Plate Snacks is running these off in their living room. Maybe they are. But if they are, they're doing a great job because this is a thick sticker, a thick product, which means that it's not going to wrinkle on you. It means that when you're laying it down, I mean, it keeps its form. So it's very easy to properly place it in just the perfect spot before you really smooth it out. And by smooth it out, you don't really have any wrinkles. I mean, just press it down to make it adhere. So that took away some of my nervousness applying these. Make sure you wipe down your plates first. You know, I'm not talking dish soap scrubbing, but don't have some loose chalk on there. I think the adhesive on these is strong enough to withstand a lot, but you know, give them a fighting chance. So the second thing that I really like about these is that it's not a one-time, oh no, now what am I going to do? This isn't perfectly where I want it. These will peel off quite nicely. The adhesive is still the way it should be. So, you know, do your best to line it up, but don't get stressed out if you need to take it off to line it up a little bit better. It's no big deal. There we go. One suggestion I have for improvement on this product is that it is very difficult, at least for me, to peel off the back. So it'd be nice if Plate Snacks could put like a split in the back here, kind of like a uh, Band-Aid has, so that you could peel it a little easier. Because holy guacamole, even with my dirty weight restoration nails, I cannot get them undone. Apologies for the dirty hands, by the way. I was working on weights. What are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm on my third one, and I finally have figured out a method here. If you kind of rub from back to front, there we go, back to front, and let the sticker go in the ridges of your thumbprint, if you will, or fingerprint, you can even hear that, then it helps to separate it. We got the vintage two and a half York barbell plates and some donut micro gains I like it and here's the thing about it if I'm feeling like super serious you know there you go just flip it over no big deal look at that but if I'm feeling like you know this is a fun little day let's have some donuts and play boom boom it's that easy I'm gonna stick the rest of these on here my children are gonna be entertained it's gonna be a bright and positive thing when I come down here at 5 in the morning and ultimately remind me of that sweet reward that I want on the weekend for all my hard work in the home gym. Yum, 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 Plate snacks and micro gains both are on Instagram and other sources if you'd like to purchase. I'll drop some links in the story. I'll drop some links in the description if on YouTube. Thanks to both of them for these awesome products. Vintage Weights, PGH. Please like and subscribe. Bye!